Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Chattanooga Stadium for this afternoon's Vanarama National League game. It's Chesterfield versus Dagenham and Redbridge. Whittle to Khan. Chesterfield threatening for the first time in the game. Whittle again, down the side for Ashanti. Still Ashanti, the shot goes in. And put out the play. What a throw in. Jeff King once more, trying to put Shimanga away there. But Kenny Clark, alert to the danger, makes the clearance. McCourt. Shimanga chasing this one. Shimanga now will look for who's in the penalty area. Mandeville was there, Whittle's there, and it's deflected out for a throw in by Will Wright. Opportunity there for Chesterfield. Outnumbered in the end. Will Wright on the ball now for the Daggers. Dean Rance. Reynolds played out wide to Weston. Weston attacking Jeff King, gets round Jeff King, looks for the cross, gets it in towards the back post there. There's two waiting for it. Jamie Grimes is there on the goal line and the ball bounces on the top of the crossbar. <laughs> and we reach the uh, 26th minute of the game. And just in case you're wondering, the applause around the ground is with one Jordan Sinnott. Jordan Sinnott, a former player with Chesterfield. And, uh, Tragically killed uh, a couple of years ago now. And there he is, Jordan Sinnott, in his Chesterfield shirt. Uh, a young man that died well before his time. And a good player for the Chester for Chesterfield on the field. He well played for one or two local clubs. So, uh, the players actually stopped while the players do the same thing here. So uh, that's, that is respect for you, isn't it? The crowd, and now the players on the field as well, applauding, even the Dagenham players, applauding for Jordan Sinner, and uh, quite right too. Well, that was a really nice touch, not only from the home fans, but even the Dagenham players were applauding now. That was, that was great. In towards Shimanga. Chance here for Shimanga. Takes it back the defender, goes down on the edge of the area. And the referee has given the free kick the other way. I think he's going to book Shimanga for simulation. Yes, he is. Kabongo Shimanga picks up a yellow card for simulation in the eyes of the referee. Good ball forward again through to Robinson. Matt Robinson slotting that one through to Walker. Justin Walker with a chance, and Justin Walker has put Dagenham and Everett in front. It was a good move by the Daggers. Inspired first of all in the in their own half, but the ball played through there to McCallum. McCallum played it through to Justin Walker, and Justin Walker slots it past Loach to give Dagenham and Everett the lead. It's Chesterfield nil. Dagenham and Everidge won to the light of the supporters behind Scott Loach's goal. Saidu Khan on the ball now, played out wide again, that's a good ball to King. Jeff King now taking on Weston. That must be a penalty. And it is. Foul Weston gives away the penalty, the foul there on Jeff King. And the Spyrites have a golden opportunity here to level the scores. as well now as uh, Jeff King lays it off McCourt curls that one in the header away by Clark Whittle in for Mandeville Mandeville twisting and turning on the edge of the area Jack McCourt with the strike and Jack McCourt just wide from just outside the penalty area
Weston didn't quite reach it. Shimanga trying to cause problems in the defence. Jeff King is also causing problems. It's Jeff King again, and he's last second penalty. Yes, it is. King goes down again in the penalty area, and I think again it was Miles Weston. Another opportunity here for Chesterfield from the penalty spot. Shimanga gives Chesterfield the lead for the first time in the game on 62 minutes. Jeff King won the penalty for the second time in the game and Kibongo Shimanga fires it home to make it Chesterfield 2, Dagenham and Redbridge 1. So Will Wright to take it. It's driven at the wall and the wall does its job. by Shimanga here. Kabongo Shimanga. Well, he fired high wide and handsome there. He's on a hat trick, Kabongo Shimanga, at the moment. But uh, that one was well wide of the uh, Dagenham goal. <laughs> by Oyeleka. This is uh, Asante on the ball again now. Getting his shirt pulled there by Jones. By, uh, I think it was Moraes, actually. Chesterfield had the free kick, and yeah, it's number 26, Joey Jones, who is going to be yellow carded. And Chesterfield have a free kick. We've played almost three minutes of the four that were to be added. Mandeville stands over the ball for the free kick. And everybody's back really, there's not really a lot of options on the free kick, nobody's come forward. It's a case of hang on to what you've got really, so Mandeville's going to take the free kick. There's only Shimanga in the area. Asante is out wide there on the far side, almost uninterested in the play. And then Ma and Mani Oyeleka, as you can see there, just on the edge of the penalty area. But everybody else is back in positions and, and uh, Dagenham have actually got three up at the moment as well, which is unusual. So Mandeville takes the free kick, he's a little back heel to Asante, and it's a case really of just uh, continuing to play. Asante trying to get around the back of the defence there, plays it back against to Mandeville. Whittle. Dagenham win it back there as Robinson plays the ball forward, but it's cut out by Kroll. Kroll forward once again, Shimanga goes down, the referee says play on. Uh, Moraes on the ball, Conway and referee Robert Massey Ellis blows the full time whistle here at the Chinese Stadium. Danny Webb will be delighted because he's got two wins in two games and it's that man Kabongo Shimanga who's got both of the goals for Chesterfield, both of them came from the penalty spot and it's 24 goals for the season now for number 19 Kabongo Shimanga. He was the deadly weapon this afternoon from the penalty spot. Both penalties are won by Jeff King um, after tackles by uh, Miles Weston. And uh, he gave Miles Weston certainly a tough game. But it was, despite a very even first half, it was Dagenham and Redbridge that took the lead through a well worked goal with Josh Walker making the finish. After Walker put the ball in the back of the net, Chesterfield wanted a quick reply. It didn't come until Jeff King went down in the area after Miles Weston made a tackle on him. Kabongo Shimanga scored into the back of the net from the penalty spot in the 44th minute to give Chesterfield parity at half time. And then in the second half, Chesterfield came out to attack. Certainly, Dagenham and Redbridge didn't degrade themselves. They played well this afternoon. They've been worthy of home. But as the players come round the field now and applaud the home support, it was uh, Kabongo Shimanga getting that second penalty on uh, 62 minutes. Again, a, king, a foul on King by Weston giving. Uh, uh, Shimanga the chance to score from the spot and uh, that was the second goal for Chesterfield. They turned a 1-0 deficit into a 2-1 lead. They couldn't increase their lead any further, but neither could Dagenham and Redbridge find an equaliser. And as the players applaud supporters for their support this afternoon, 
It's two wins in two for Danny Webb. And it's the final score here at the Technic Stadium. It's Chesterfield two, Dagenham and Redbridge one. Will this result see them go back to the top of the table? It depends on the result from Stockport this afternoon. Who are the next opponents, by the way, away at Jersey Park on Tuesday night?